all of you today i will show you how to make a simple ir motion detector and it's an amazing project you will need no coding or a pir motion sensor you can also use it as a remote tester so let's see the components required we will need some resistors 2 of 10 kilo 3 of 1 kilo and 1 of 220 a 5 5 5 timer a capacitor i am using a 10 microfarad capacitor two transistors bc 547 and bc 557 an infrared pair an ir led a photodiode breadboard connectors breadboard two leds 9 volt battery with its connector that's all you will need let's get started first step is to insert the timer on the breadboard now connect pin 2 and pin 6 of the timer now connect the positive pin of the capacitor to pin 2 of the timer and negative to pin 1 of the timer now insert both the transistors on the breadboard the bc557 transistor i keep it on the left and the other transistor i keep it on the right now using a 10k resistor connect pin 6 and pin 7 of the 555 timer now taking your 1k resistor connect pin 7 of the ic to emitter that is the right pin of the dc 557 transistor now using another 1k resistor connect base of the 557 transistor to collector of the bc 547 transistor now connect the emitter of the npn transistor that is the bc 547 transistor to negative now take your remaining 10k resistor and connect it one terminal one pin to the base of the transistor that is the bc547 transistor and other to the negative power supply now connect pin 8 of the integrated circuit to collector of the 557 transistor give pin 1 of the 555 timer to the negative power supply give the positive power supply to the emitter of the first transistor now take your photo diode and connect its negative terminal to positive power supply and positive terminal to base of the 547 transistor now take your infrared transmitter and connect its negative terminal to emitter of the 547 transistor using a 220 ohms resistor and 
positive terminal to positive power supply. Now take your LED and connect its oh, positive terminal to pin 3 of the IC and negative to negative power supply. Okay. Now connect the remaining LED negative terminal to pin 1 and positive terminal to pin 8 with a 1K resistor. Now the circuit is complete. The remaining and the last step is to give the power supply. Let me give it. Now the circuit is complete. The this is the IR LED and this is whatever every razor hand over like this. Oh, oh sorry my battery was not connected properly. When you raise your hand over the LED starts blinking. That is because the IR LED light gets reflected onto the diode and the LED starts blinking. The same kind, this will not work in sunlight because the rays of the sun will directly fall on the photodiode and the circuit will turn on. So, what do we do is, the same kind of light is present in our TV remotes. Let me get one and show you an example. Here's my TV remote, like this. The LED starts blinking when I press it. You can, you can see this purple light blinking. This is not visible directly to the human eye. Like this, the LED starts blinking. Like this, the LED. It's an amazing thing. You need no coding, no PIR. Please. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Most, most important, subscribe to my channel. I have brand new videos every two or four days of electronics. Subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.